Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a Moto Surf video for you guys, and actually, I have a lot of videos for you guys. This is going to be the first one that I upload. Uh, I've been stacking them up. You notice that I've been uploading a lot, but I'm going to try something new where I build a pretty solid buffer for myself and for you guys so I can drop on the regular. Throw Mouse Moto. lots and lots of content coming up for you guys i know you're gonna be stoked to see the uh the footage i got on the new 2022 can-am Riker rally but first like i said this is the journey of me learning how to moto surf on my jet surf adventure dfi got my niece there helping me out through it that's for sure and you can see me suiting up because it is cold outside still that's that um neoprene hoodie it's pretty sweet i have a video kind of like showing the gear i've been working with and and learning what's cool and what's actually helpful or what i should have done instead but in that first video i shared on the channel uh, it had my first ride this will have my second and third trip of riding on it so it's cool to be able to share that with you um one of the main things i'm going to show you about right here before it goes to live audio is this is my first time with my leash in the first video i don't know if i had footage of it but that trip uh, i had no leash probably shouldn't have been out there with it it was super way the wind was like 15 miles an hour waves were crazy i was losing the board having to swim to it so now i got this leash the thing is it's kind of long so it's kind of a drag and i and i also figure out here is that it's not the best to have it on your wrist even though like the next 10 trips i have it on my wrist because i'm not that smart and didn't figure out but you can see how it's getting caught in my toe right there and at some point here soon it gets caught on my foot completely like it gets tucked into the binding with my right foot when i go to stand up and then it just makes me fall off the board and it is very <laughs> cold still so you're gonna be seeing my woes with trying to mess with my new leash and then just the water being cold and me wanting to get out immediately so i can get back on it out of the water um get out of this water it's cold So cold. Hey, Kip, getting caught in my helmet and my foot. I kept getting caught in my leash. It was tangled. And that is the second part I forgot about was my helmet also. So I'm thinking, hey, my second time ever being on this board, I should try all this new stuff. Like, uh, you know, I'm so advanced now. I should wear a helmet so I can film and the, the arm because it's a chin mount, just like when I do my motovlog stuff on the Riker. Uh, it kept getting caught on the actual throttle cable itself like the hand throttle on top of the foot thing and then it was just so cold i was just like you know i'm gonna pack it in uh that was a uh, that was some learning there uh, and then we go out um for my my third trip and i have a blast uh still the same uh leash but i learned how to fix it not as much as learn how to fix it as if it just 
luckily the water kind of pushes it out of the way like i said it, it it wasn't it was until recently this is old footage that i even realized that i should just move it up you know if it's if it's a problem in the wrist area just don't put it on your wrist and then i realized like a lot of people they don't put it on their wrist so i guess that's the reason and that's kind of where i'm at and kind of why this is a process but uh, i like sharing it with you guys is that i'm just kind of making it up as i go uh, and, and it's fun and it's kind of cool and uh, it's still pretty easy to learn which is the crazy part so I can only imagine if I uh, if I actually had somebody telling me what to do I would be moto surfing as good as I am in this third trip right here uh, the first time easily um, it was a drag learning the first time how uh, crazy choppy the water was and windy it was so i um, having a blast now and having a blast ever since I'll have way cooler uh, footage to show you guys soon but I didn't want to skip anything you can even see in this part here I start getting like really close in the shallow water and it looks pretty sweet uh, carving pretty close to my niece there on the shore and you can actually see the, the bottom of the water there but it, uh, you, you can have too much fun obviously with this I got better footage coming soon though because I end up just going straight vert with the camera and it comes off way better What do you think about that run? Right? I'm still not good yet at uh, controlling the throttle. Like, you can probably hear it like, eh, eh, eh. like I'm doing it, you know? But I'm better than I was yesterday. Pretty much exactly what I say in that part there. It's all about that throttle control. Like, um, and it, and it just takes a while, especially if you're just kind of trying to jump on it like I am in the beginning, you're probably not gonna be too good at that part yet. I know it's probably a good idea just to kind of stay on your knee or whatever in the beginning while you kind of get that down because that is the most important part of it. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, I got more of this process if you're interested and I got more Riker videos coming up, thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.